<laughs> oh, this thing has got some serious go. Welcome along guys. Today, we've got a bit of a comparison for you. We've got a Triumph T120 Bonneville. And then, I don't know if you can see that in my rear, that's uh, my girlfriend Emma. She's on the T100 Bonneville. I'm gonna do a bit of a comparison between the two and uh, tell you what I think of them. So stick around and stay tuned if you're interested. It's a bit windy because obviously there's no wind protection. But, so, the difference between the two is the T100, I believe, is a 900cc engine. And this is the 1200cc that you see in a lot of the bikes. Yeah, there's loads of torque in this thing. So, as a motorway test sitting at 70, I'm getting quite a lot of wind blast. It's not dirty air as such, but... It's, I'm definitely getting a lot. I mean, it's probably quite windy for you guys. So I do apologise if that is the case. But I'm sitting at 70 mile an hour. It's quite a comfortable position. We're not, um, I'm not uncomfy at all. We can jump up into sixth gear as well. So sixth gear, it's just lazily cruising along. 3,000 revs. We'll see if it's got any grunt in six, shall we? Yeah, she's got plenty of go just to get you going. Listen to Flyer will be very happy that I'm getting the white vans as well as him. So it's very comfortable. Like I said, there's a lot of wind blast on your chest and stuff, but it's not dirty air at all. So, but then to be fair, the motorways aren't what these bikes are designed for. So I don't think you'll ever, if, I mean, you might ride a bit of motorway to get to a nice bit of road, but that's not what these are designed for. So it's like flicking into a corner, shall we? Oh, she handles quite well. It's, yeah, it's, it's not scared of leaning over. Oh, the noise of that thing. God. This is, it's not a ludicrously fast bike where you're looking at about, I think they're about 80 horsepower. I'm not too sure, I'll put it on the screen now. But um, there's loads of torque. It's just um, a really grunty engine. So you'll, you'll never find like just, just nipping past is so easy. I mean, I am in third, but it's just such a simple bike to ride. You do feel the weight of this. So compared to the T100, uh, T100 you'll notice the weight of this is quite a bit more. Yeah, she's, uh, she rides really nicely. It's very smooth. Like the, I have noticed the throttle's a little bit on and off. So I believe the T100's around the sort of 55 horsepower mark, which is obviously uh, sub significantly less than this. But I think the thing for me is, which the reason we're sort of riding these is that uh, my, uh, Emma, she wants a sort of toy bike for the weekend, as we all do. Um, but she loves this sort of retro look. Now, she was worried about the weight um, because this is quite a bit heavier than the T100. I'll put weights on screen now. But I think this bike, the T100 around, starts around the nine grand mark, whereas this starts around 10 and a half. So for the sake of like a thousand pound or 1500 pounds, this is so much more like you're future proofing yourself with this. It's got more power, it's got, it comes with the center stand, it comes with heated grips. You've got rider modes as well. I mean, the rider modes are only road and rain, but it's still got them. And also you get on this, you get the double front discs. Uh, and it's also what, uh, 1200cc, so it sounds incredible. Out of the two, I think this would be a better bike for me 
I think the T100 would work quite well if you'd only just got into biking. 55 odd horsepower isn't a lot, but I think you'd be surprised with the amount of torque that it's got. You'd never need a lot more. Oh, and this one pops and bangs. So going through the screen, so on the left here, you have your odd odometer, your trip meters, your MPG, that looks like an average and uh, real time MPG and your time. On the right here, you've got your fuel gauge, miles to empty. And I think uh, if I press the heated grip button, your heated grips are either off, low or high. Oh, she sounds really nice. Just pops and crackles on the overrun. I have to say the, oh, nearly stalled it. <laughs> Because it's a big 1200cc lump, they don't like to be um, laboured or revved or anything like that. So you might find that you have to rev it a little bit more. But I still, I mean, I'm just poodling along now. I'm in second gear doing under 2000 revs and it just pulls away when I want it to. I think as a, a lazy weekend bike, this is this would be phenomenal and the customization on them is really really worth it as well to get a bonneville that looks unique wouldn't be that hard want to swap the thing i quite like with this is i'll uh, i'll see if i can get a shot of it but there's a uh, an led drl that runs around the bottom of the light and it looks really good well you see how jumpy that was then so i'm off the thing and it's a bit snatchy there you go so it's searching a bit but yeah i think as soon you all you have to do is pull the clutch in yeah so all i'm doing with this to when i'm pulling away is i'm i'm putting a little bit more revs in or feeding the clutch out a little bit longer so that's fine the heated grips on this i've got them on high and they're getting quite warm you have to find the standard heated grips on a bike are a little bit naff but i'm actually quite impressed with how warm my hands are getting they're not going to be like they're not going to be as hot as uh some like oxford ones or anything like that but they're still really warm i have to say the riding position is really nice as well it's quite a neutral sort of feet uh, underneath you you got your standard sort of l shape and it's just really good i'm gonna try a bit of filtrage you can feel the weight i'll be honest but as soon as you get going the weight goes. A bit fast. Now like this is obviously, this compares quite closely to like the Royal Enfield 650, like the Continental 650. And I think the GT 650 as well. But I th as much as I like the Royal Enfield and they're doing really well in like reviews and stuff, this is, um, I mean, and also I know this is well, knock it on double the price, but this is so much more of a bike. So much, you get so much more for your money. Oh, this thing. The brakes on this are fantastic as well. They're like, they're not, um, you're obviously not like sports bike sharp or anything like that. So you've got double front discs on this. I don't know what the uh, size is, but they're definitely better. The reverb coming off these trees you hear that can you hear the popping oh it sounds so good yeah sounds really nice I'm gonna pull in here and just wait for Emma and then we'll see if we can do a little swappy shall we let me get a shot of that front DRL as well see what I mean so you got the DRL and you got the main main beam and then obviously you've got a flasher and your high beam and your flash let's get on the t100 so on here you still got the same sort of screens and everything so t100 so immediately it does feel quite a lot lighter so this one so this is a 900 cc engine um I think, like I said before, I think you're looking around the sort of 55 mark. Has it still got the poke? You can tell there's not as much grunt there. However, it's uh, 
it's still it's still got quite a lot of torque Did a little wheelie then. More people seem to look at the T120, but I do feel quite cool, which is quite, I mean, it's the reason to buy these, isn't it? Let's be honest. My one's better. So I think I mentioned it before, but the difference between this and the 120 is this doesn't come with heated grips or riding modes or a center stand. I'm not sure whether you can get them as aftermarket, but you definitely notice the difference. I mean, Emma's just got on and the first thing she said is that you can notice the power difference straight away. And I mean, she's quite, I mean, she's probably, oh, she'll kill me for getting this wrong, but I think she's around 60 kilos and she's not incredibly like strong. So for her to be happy with the weight of the T120 just shows you it's completely fine. She hasn't tried putting on the center stand or anything yet. Oh, that thudding, oh, it sounds so good. This bike would be, I mean, the T100 would be ideal for someone that's just starting out, but they don't need anything sort of made massively practical. If you're just starting out on a bike, I'm pretty sure with the power of these, you could probably get them restricted to an A2 as well. There's enough grunt and poke where you don't feel like you're like wringing its neck the whole time. Let's give the front brake a try. This has only got a, front, a single front disc. And yeah, you can tell. You can tell it's not nowhere near as... Oh, is it Honda E? Um, that front brake has got nowhere near the bite of the twin discs on the front of the T120. That is in, I'd probably, I wouldn't be happy with the bite on these brakes. I mean, I'll give them keep over yeah they're not they're not they've got enough bite but they're not good enough I have to say the light on the front of the T120 is really bright the one thing that is a quite a factor for me on this is this has only got five gears so it's one down four up now I haven't had that since my little 125 but it's uh on the motorway I think you'll find that the the sixth gear on the 120 will definitely make a difference it would definitely sort of make that the ride just a little bit more chilled you love it don't you i, I don't like that on the car. i love it have you noticed how much stronger the front brakes are yeah they're so much better than this i actually like the weight of this yeah It looks really cool. Oh. <laughs> so Asbo. <laughs> that pops as well. Sounds so good. She's literally in love. Yeah, that's very average. Like it's a nice bike, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's It's not special. <laughs> the noise that's coming off as we both pull away. I don't know whether you could hear what she was saying there, but she's basically just saying she feels so much more special on the T120. And like the, the, the T100's sort of nice and it's fine, but it's not, it's not a T120. Well, it's just, it doesn't give you that special feeling like that, that one where you're riding it. Like there's no occasion to riding this, I feel. I have to say it's a little bit wobbly as well, like a little bit more unsettled on the road. I think the weight of the T120 makes it feel like a more settled bike. That's a bit of a summary. I think the T100, this 900cc one I'm riding now, it's a cracking bike for what it is. It's sort of under 10 grand. It's, it's quite a friendly, chilled out Sunday, sort of poodle around bike and I think that's fine it's got loads of grunt even for a bike that hasn't got that much power but yeah it definitely doesn't 
kick up as much as the other one does. The front brake is a little bit, it's a bit meh, if you know what I mean. It's it's good, it does it stops the bike, but it's not it's not uh on the T120 when you pull the front brake on your you're like oh jesus that's cool. that's good sort of like that stops you quick whereas this doesn't have that um but as a first bike or first big bike should i say and you want this sort of style bonneville or bob or anything like that if you're looking for that sort of this sort of style bike that you can customize i mean if you haven't already go and have a look at the thornton 100 motorcycles there's a guy called Jody in Milton Keynes who mods Triumphs. I think he's got an affiliation with Triumph. But he built a um, a custom T120 for Joe Wicks, the body coach guy. And that thing, I straight piped it, like knobbly tires on it, paint job, like a custom paint job and everything. It looked incredible. So you can obviously do that with this as well, but it's just, it's, you got less of a, a slightly lesser bike in the first place. Ever's absolutely loving this. <laughs> I think I've got a uh, replacement for George on the test rides now. Even this just handles nicely going around corners. I was getting into a summary and then completely went off on one. Uh, I think this is the perfect bike for your starter person that wants to get into a Bonneville type bike but doesn't have the experience on the road. Um, or possibly not even the money as well like if you've got if you're low on funds it's only a 1500 pound difference but that might be the difference between being able to buy one and not being able to buy one if you are a slightly more experienced rider i mean emma's only been riding for a year and a half or something along those lines shut up <laughs> <laughs> this is the most asbo I've ever seen my girlfriend. If you've got a little bit more experience, or, I mean, Emma, like I said, Emma's not been riding for that long, and she commutes into London, so she's quite experienced in sort of weathers and traffic and stuff like that, but she's not, she's not one for going out at the weekend, which is why she's been looking at a bike like this. I go out for a ride on my bike all the time, and she just never comes because she's not interesting there's no interest in her like riding her bike for enjoyment i probably should mention she rides an nc 750. right let's do a bit of a roll on yeah so there's the power difference <laughs> yeah there's the power difference between the uh t120 and the t100 <laughs> That's so good. I just saw a, I saw a drop down a couple of gears. <laughs> this is the issue with the T100 is that I'm now in fifth gear. I'm doing just over set. Well, I'm doing about 70, and I'm doing 4,000 revs. It does sound like it's, it needs another gear. That is, I mean, that's literally it. It just needs another gear. Um, the ride in position's about the same, but. It's, it is quite bouncy, this one, I'll give it a, uh, I'll be honest. <laughs> I've never seen her enjoy a bike like that. Anyway, I'll sign off now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have got any questions, put them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. That thing's so much quicker. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so much fun being out. Well, she's like, she's ragging it around and uh, enjoying it. It's really nice to see her enjoy a bike, I have to say. That's the bigger thing for me. But yeah, anyway, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you do like these kind of videos and stuff in the garage, feel free to subscribe. There's plenty more on the way. So I will, uh, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>